Good morning, everyone. So I am here to quickly show you how I make kamot. Because I get a lot of people ask me, how do you make kamot? So first we're going to start with the bag of kamot. As you can see, this is what you call a berry. They call these little grain berries. But we're going to put ours in the Vitamix here and we're going to chop it up. Probably should have got some scissors, but I did just use my teeth. Pour it all in there. You don't have to pour it all in there, but I like to pour mine all in there so I could just have, already have it ground, ground up because my family eats a lot of kamot and we like to have leftovers. So as you can see, I popped it in my beautiful Vitamixer. Bam! And we're gonna start on Warm our way up. show you the consistency maybe you can see this as you can see it's very loose let me get you a little closer I make it thinner than that sometimes sometimes my kids like it that cream of wheat consistency right now it's more gritty so it'll be like grits but sometimes they like it real thin like cream of wheat so now we're gonna measure it so I have my measuring cup right here so I'm gonna pour it in there and measure and see how much it makes. It usually makes about three and a half to four cups. So let's see if I'm correct. I spilled very little. So if I want you to see that, it made four cups. Okay, now let me bring the camera down. I'm going to pour it in a bowl because I need the measuring cup. I have other measuring cups, but this one's my favorite. So now I'm going to pour it in the bowl. So we're going to measure the water and put the water in a pot. I like to use this pot. This is my husband's mother's pot, my mother-in-law's pot. It's really old and it holds in the heat and it cooks perfect, perfect hot cereal. I don't care how ugly it gets. It's amazing. So. Now we're gonna measure our water and put it inside the pot. So for kamot, how kamot works, for every cup of kamot grain, you have three cups of water. So we are going to measure our water. I guess, I, baby, can you measure it for me? My husband's gonna help me out since he's over there. Oh, he's gonna bring the water to me. That's even, that's even better. So we have our alkaline water right here that we get from Water Tree. Bam! So we have four we have four cups of kamot, so we need three times four. Can anybody tell me what three times four is? You said 12, you're right. So we need 12 cups of water in our pot. So that's four, bam. So we just need, what, three of these? Is that the right? Four. In the pot bam 12 cups of water now we're going to put it on the stove and we're going to bring it to a boil okay now you want your water to be boiling like this so that steam coming off is boiling now I'm going to take some butter. We use um, Earth Balance. It's a vegan butter. We use the red one because it's soy free. Soy is very toxic to the woman. Um, 
and the male and everybody. So I don't know. It's toxic to everybody. So we're going to take the, the, the vegan butter. Excuse me, y'all. And I'm going to just dig in there. I don't really measure my butter. I'll start with this, but I will put more butter in it because we like ours really creamy. Put that in there. Get a little bit more. Get a little bit more. Another one. Put that in there. Let that stir that around. Get that all evened out. Now we're going to add. Oh, I just spilled some. Hold on, y'all. Spilled out. Now we're going to add one fourth teaspoon of salt. So we're going to pour that salt in there. Now it's time to put the kamolt in. So I put my kamolt back in the measuring cup because when you're measure when you're pouring the como in I have it the consistency of a grits but when you pour it in you have to constantly stir it constantly stir it so um, it doesn't get lumpy the thinner it is the quicker it gets lumpy so when I make it like the cream of wheat consistency I have to stir 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 because it will get lumpy really fast even though my kids like the lumps in there I prefer not to have the lumps so just make sure you stir consistency, stir it, stir it in a consistent pattern um, so you can have nice smooth kamolt. So now we're about to stir it in. Let's put the camera back down. And I'm already stirring before I even add it in. Just add a little at a time. This is great exercise. It gets my arms tired every time I put kamolt. See how I'm stirring it? It's perfect. Now if you make it thin like cream of wheat, you're going to have to pour it in even slower and stir it and keep stirring. But yes, if it's thinner, then you pour it in slower. But see, I made mine a grit consistency so I can pour it in a lot faster, as long as I'm stirring constantly. Still stirring, working on them arm muscles at the same time, strengthening them arm muscles. Now that I got it all in there, I'm going to stir it for a minute, make sure it's all even, as you can see, there's really no lumps in here. Now we're going to put the top on, and we're going to let it come to another good boil. So once we let it come to another good boil, I'll say that once we let it come to a really, really, really good boil, you let it boil for about six, you let it boil for about 60, sec 60 seconds, so about a minute, a minute to two minutes. Then you turn it down, not really on low, but you turn it down on, let's say medium low. So uh, mine goes all the way to two. It goes by twos, eight, six, four, two, and low. So I'm gonna turn mine on two. So I turned it on two. Once it starts boiling, I'll turn it on two and turn it on low and let it simmer for about 25 to 35 minutes. Um, you can check it after 25 minutes and just stir it, but you mostly want to keep the top on it because you want to keep that heat in there. So you can't constantly pick the top up and stir it because the heat is what's cooking it. So you want to make sure it's being cooked by the heat and you're protecting and keeping the top on it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna let it boil. I want you to see this boil right here. Be very, very careful. This stuff is very, very dangerous. So like I said, it could be very dangerous. This, this, this commode ain't no joke. But see the boil? Whoop. You got that. I got you to get a little sneak peek. So now I'm gonna turn my eye down on two. I usually like to put a little towel over it because I like to keep the steam submerged. So like this, I have this little top. I just put a towel, I just put it right on top. Keep that steam in there. 
In about 20, 30 minutes, I like to cook mine a little longer, about 30, 40 minutes, because I like it to be really, really creamy. Um, and I'll come back and show you guys what we do after it simmers for about 25, 30 minutes. So we'll be back. Okay guys, it's been cooking for about 20 minutes. So now we're just gonna check it, we're gonna stir it, and we're gonna add some more butter, because remember I said I like mine really creamy. So this is what it looks like so far. We'll put some more butter in it. Robert, baby, we'll put some more butter in it. Bam, throw that around. Should you, it shouldn't be it shouldn't stick that's why it's important for you to get a pot that holds heat in it because pots that hold heat in them don't stick very easily so i can go all the way to the bottom and it's not sticking at all i just want you to see that thick consistency see that it's like the grits but yes and put a little more butter i'm just going to put all of it in there just get it all in there Clean this thing out. Now I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna let it simmer super, super hot. I'm gonna cover it and let it simmer for another 15 minutes and it will be done. We cannot wait to eat. We'll be back. Okay, I wanna show you guys my commote. It is done. The kids are about to eat. I already had a taster. It tastes amazing. So you can eat it with butter and sauteed vegetables on top, or you can eat it with avocado cut on the side, or you can eat it with agave and butter and fruit. So you get to choose. Sometimes my kids eat both. Sometimes they want that salt taste and then come right back and want the sweet taste. Not the green bananas, baby. They don't taste the good. Taste the same. You need yellow bananas. So dig in. The spoon's right there. Yes, you can use blueberries and get some strawberries out the freezer. You can use those. I get them. So we got our strawberries and our frozen blueberries that they're gonna put in their kamot. It's super hot, so when you put it in there, it'll just it'll just melt in there. So perfect she's putting it on top of her spoon you like kamote summer rose yes, yes. What, which way do you like it both ways yes. the salt, the salt and, the, and, and the sweet Austin majority eats it sweet most of the time but the sea salt one do that happy dance again baby hey good hey guys welcome back we're back so i just want to jump on here really quick we just want to jump on here really quick and talk about the importance and the benefits benefits values of kamote so a lot of people don't know about kamote uh we actually learned about kamote two two and a half years ago from the great late dr sabi and um, yeah, it's an amazing grain with amazing benefits. And um, I believe everybody should be eating it and everybody should put it in um, their meal prep or meal regimen this winter. I think everybody needs to get familiar, very familiar with this grain. That's right. Uh, my husband's gonna tell you um, a lot, some of the minerals that they have in this grain. This grain is truly awesome. And I'm excited to sit here and talk to you guys about Kamalt. Yes. Kamote is an ancient grain, an ancient grain. Um, <clears throat> I think found in Africa. Uh, it's found in a couple yeah, Africa, countries Africa, over Asia, there. Yeah, uh, some of the uh, eastern countries. Um, but um, it is an ancient type of wheat grain. It's also known as an oriental wheat, Khorasan wheat. Okay, so um, you can find it at 
Central Market. Uh, you can order a lot online from Bob Mills right, website. Right, right. That's the brand. We've we only been able to find it in one store in Houston. So it's best to just order it online. And it might be sold out because a lot of people are waking up to this ancient grain. But yes, you can go on Bob Mills website and you can order it already chopped up or you can order it whole, which they call berries. They call it kamote berries. It's like a seed. That's right. So um, its benefits and um, its nutritional um, factors are zinc. Ooh, we It's fortified and it's high in zinc, high in copper, high in iron, high in phosphorus, high in magnesium, high in riboflavin. Iron phosphorus, niacin, potassium, vitamin B6, um, sodium, vitamin A, vitamin E, diamond, zinc. It's amazing, guys. It's a powerhouse. It's a super, 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 super phytonutrient, micronutrient. Superfood. Yes, um, type of a cereal or grain. Um, Alkaline. You can eat it sweet or you can, I mean, uh, she's probably going to told y'all that, but um, we love it. We love it. We love it. Um, it and I want to tell you some winner. benefits. Great for um, it maintains tissue strength. Right. It lowers cholesterol. It protects against free radicals. Mm. It supports hormone balance. Um, boosts its immune system. Aids in bone health. And I do believe it has iron in it. And that yes. is the trick to not yes. being cold. So yeah, you really want to get your iron intake up, get, uh, eat foods and drink drinks that have lots of iron. That's how you're going to stay warm in the winter. The reason why you're so cold is because your iron levels are so low. So let's yeah. spike them up. That's right. So enjoy your fest, your fest, your season, um, your fall season, and uh, stay warm and um, fortified with nutrients. Vibration from, from the